I'm Mark Cowley and Mr. Saltwater Tank coming to you on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com. I use tank automation on my reef to give me more time to do what I want to do with my tank. And a nice side effect of this tank automation is increased tank stability. Increased tank stability means happier fish and corals, increased coral growth, and less tank headaches. Then I tack on automating the dosing of the king of saltwater aquarium supplements and I've got the grounds for a winning combination. I dub Calcwash the king of saltwater aquarium supplements as it maintains and raises your alkalinity, maintains and raises your calcium, raises your pH for those of you who chase pH numbers. And calc looks like cocaine, which is fitting because I call calc coral crack. Once I start dosing calc on mine and my clients' tanks, those tanks hit a whole new level of success. So what is this white powdery stuff, what does it do, and how do you add it to your tank? Calc is short for Kalkwasser, which is German for lime water. Calc's chemical compound is CaOH2, which means it's got calcium in it and hydroxide, which is known around the reefing world as alkalinity. When dissolved in fresh water, it makes the resulting solution have a high pH of 12 plus. That's why it's good for raising pH levels. This high pH level can be good and bad, and I'll get into that later in the show. So why use calc on your tank? Because it adds alkalinity and calcium to your tank at the same time with less equipment than two-part dosing. And there's the increased pH part as well. Doesn't two-part take the place of calc? It can, and once my tank tells me that it needs to be dosed, I start with calc and then go to two-part or a calcium reactor. Depending on how heavily your stock your tank is with growing coral, dosing two-part or a calcium reactor may not ever be needed on the system if you've already got calc on the tank. Before you go race down and buy calc, keep these points in mind. Never add calc directly to your saltwater aquarium. It has to be dissolved in fresh water first. While you can manually add a calc solution to your tank, this is a show about tank automation, so you'll need a couple of pieces of equipment to automate your calc dosing. Time changes for a reefer, and I used to add calc to my ATO reservoir to dose it in my tank. I stopped doing that years ago, and here's why. First, it can get messy. The more saturated the solution of calc in your top-off reservoir, the more of it's likely going to get left behind in the form of sludge. That means you need to clean your ATO reservoir, and I know how most of you feel about cleaning anything on your tanks. Second, adding calc via calc store lets you precisely add calc to your system. Adding calc via an ATO depends on water evaporation rates, and water evaporation rates can vary throughout the year, which is going to throw off how much calc is getting into your system. I like measured and precise, so now I use a calc store to add calc to my tanks. To set up an automated calc store for your tank, you're going to need calc, calc stirrer, also known as calc reactors, RODI water, and a feed pump to the reactor or the stirrer. The feed pump can be a standalone doser, a controller-based doser, or a water pump. Note that the water pump option introduces more availability to the process, so I use a standalone doser or a controller-based doser. The feed pump pushes RODI water into the calc stirrer where the calc sits. Inside the calc stirrer is a stirring device that agitates the calc to encourage it to dissolve into RODI water. The calc solution is either pumped or falls via gravity into your system. I like to keep things simple, so I go the gravity route. It sounds simple and the process is quite straightforward. So how much calc do you dose? Here's how you figure that out. Look out, you're going to have to test your tank's water. Specifically, test alkalinity and calcium. Calc is going to maintain your alkalinity and calcium levels once water changes won't get the job done anymore. And as the corals grow in your tank, they're going to suck up more calcium and alkalinity, which means you're going to need to increase your calc dose. You're not going to know how much to dose until you test. And yes, you can test for alkalinity and calcium through automated means. You don't have to do it manually unless you want to. Since saturated calc has a high pH, dosing too much of it can raise your tank's pH above the maximum recommended level of 8.6. For those of you with systems that have a naturally occurring high pH, how much calc you dose is going to be limited as you're quickly going to bump up against the 8.6 threshold. If that's you, a calcium reactor or two-part solution that doesn't raise your tank's pH is in your future in addition to the calc. For everyone else, calc is going to get you far down the line for dosing alkalinity and calcium to your tank. While 8.6 is my upper threshold for pH, you can use that fact to add safeguards to your tank. Specifically, your controller can shut off the calc dosing if your pH goes near or above 8.6. If you know your tank's normal operating range of pH, you can also shut off the feed pump to your calc store if your pH is climbing far beyond its normal range. For example, on my tank, my pH tops out about 8.1 to 8.2. I have my Apex program to shut off the calc feed pump and send me an alert if the pH gets above 8.4. 
if my pH is climbing that high, it may be due to a runaway feed pump to my calc reactor, and I want to shut down that pump. With any additions to your tank, start slow, monitor the results, and then adjust as necessary. When your tank needs to be dosed with calc, it's likely not going to need much. As the corals in your system grow, they're going to suck up more calcium and alkalinity, which means an increased calc dose. For example, in my system, I dose about 4.5 gallons of saturated calc a day. This is in addition to the calcium reactor that I have running wide open. I've got lots of corals growing really fast, so they suck up the calcium and the alkalinity. Calc is your tank's friend when it needs it, so listen to your tank, and when it's time to add calc, hold on for the ride of coral growth. I'm Mark Cowley and Mr. Saltwater Tank, coming to you on behalf of saltwateraccordion.com. I'll catch you in the next episode. I feel like I need to frag something. It's too big.